This is the TRT and Hormone Optimization Channel with, as a guest today, Dr. Jeffrey Rutherbush. Welcome back, Jeffrey. Thanks for having me back, Steve. It's great to be back, as usual. So recently, I posted some pictures on YouTube, Instagram, and so on, and someone accused me of taking TRT injections because it was impossible to get this muscular on testosterone cream alone. So what can you say about that? Can one become more muscular on injections than on cream, Jeffrey? This is the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. And if you want to learn all about the science-based information on this topic, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be on your way. All right. I'm going to approach this topic with uh, clinical, uh, my clinical experience and, of course, just anecdotes. First of all, Stephen, you're a well-built man. We know that. But I have to tell you, in all my years of experience, remember, I've been this for 50 years. I've been weight training in gym since the mid-60s. I have seen many men be, get your physique natural. I've seen men that I know weren't doing anything other than training hard and eating well and, and getting proper rest become larger than you. So my point is, I don't think your physique strikes me as being one that necessarily means that you are enhanced by anything. So you know, having said that, yes, uh, I have seen many men uh, reach your physique level uh, by doing, as I said, nothing but working hard and just taking your natural genetic potential to the limit. Or in your case, doing creams, you know, transdermal application. Okay, listen. Again, I mentioned I've seen many men reach your physique um, without supplementation, but as a naturopathic trained doctor, you know, they're all about um, salivary levels, all right? And in, and I, I've come to this conclusion in my clinical research. If you're on injectables versus topical, I find that when you inject testosterone, it's reflected more uh, accurately in serum blood. If you're topically using it, it's going to be more accurately reflected in salivary levels. Now, we don't do salivary levels, not gold standard. What I'm getting at here is that I've seen a lot of men on transdermal testosterone who the, the blood levels don't bump much, but they feel great. I've seen men on, on, uh, on uh, injectable testosterone there. Their blood levels go sky high and they don't feel good. So in essence, serum levels track injectables much more accurately. Serum levels do not reflect, in my opinion, um, transdermal um, uh, issues much. It, it, it's, there's a lag. I don't get the big bump in serum level. I mean, I look for most guys on, on 200 megs a, a day of, of transdermal, I may get them to 7, 8, 900 and they feel good because they're getting higher DHT conversion. Mm -hmm. So I like it for that purpose, to get the DHT conversion, but I just find, in essence, don't be hung up on the lab values so much on transdermals. I, I, I mostly really go on how they feel mm -hmm. on transdermal, okay? But if the transdermal and the injectable, whatever dose you need for it, uh, would get your total testosterone levels up to 1,000 or 1,200, your muscle mass would be the same regarding the same. Yes. Yes. I, I, I'm just saying that the, the, I've never seen a guy that was a big time bodybuilder, you know, a big meathead, sorry, that ever got that big on transdermal. Okay. Never. I've seen him get that big on mega dose of injectables. So, yes, your physique is definitely maintainable with hard work, good genes, and topical or transdermal testosterone. I see it all the time. Yeah, okay. Well, that's what I do, so I'm the living crew of it. So. You are. If you would wonder about this video thumbnail, of course, this is not me on testosterone cream versus testosterone injections, because I don't do testosterone injections. This is me before my workout and post-workout. 
with 60 minutes in between. The only difference is a pump and flexing. Okay, that's a very clear cut answer. Well, it's the, it's the ask God truth. I don't know who is seeing your physique and think that you necessarily have to be augmented or potentiated. I'm seeing you just, you're a result of good genes and hard work. And I see that all the time in people that have done no ergogenic aids, none whatsoever. Yeah, sure. Okay, that's uh, very clear. So, and now do this next, click on one of these thumbnails to learn a ton more about TRT and hormone optimization.